Hi, welcome to the series Learn Excel in 24 hours. In this video, we'll study an example of how to use Solver. We've been given two equations, x square plus y square plus z cube equal to 32, x cube plus y to the power 5 plus z square is equal to minus 24, x, y and z are integers, find the value of x, y and z. So to solve this, we go to Excel and we make three data headers x, y, z and we just plug in dummy values 1, 1, 1 in cells A2, B2 and C2. Since we have two equations, we will have two result headers. In column D, we make one data header as result 1. We set up an equation for x square plus y square plus z cube by using the power function. Once this is in place, we make another data header for result 2 and we set up the equation for x cube plus y raised to 5 plus z square. Again, we use the power function. Now, we open the solver module through the data menu option. The business objective over here will be E2, that is the result of equation 2. and we know from the given data that this should have a value of minus 24. So whenever we go to the solver module and look for the business objective, it asks, I mean, it basically has three menu options, maximum, minimum, or to a particular value. So we select that particular value and in this case it is minus 24 then we have to specify what are the variables that need to be changed those will be x y and z so we choose the cells a2 b2 c2 and then we have to put in the set of conditions now we have been categorically told that the first equation x square plus y square plus z cube should add up to 32. So we put in the conditions that D2 should have a value of 32. And the other point we've been told is that X, Y and Z are integers. So we have to specify that condition that cell A2 equal to integer, cell B2 equal to integer, cell C2 equal to integer. In this case, these are integer values and these could be positive or negative values. So in the option which talks about non-negative or unconstrained variables, we have to uncheck that option because the values of x, y and z could be negative. And then we click the button solve and we get the answer of what x, y and z should be. So I would encourage you to set up a few equations with a few permutations and combinations and you know try to resolve these problems using solver initially try to do it with integer values only so that you get completely familiarized and acquainted with the same solver makes life very very easy when you're dealing with a lot of complex variables so enjoy doing that thank you